Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to scale uh, motions using Deep Soil software. I already download motion from peer website. If you don't know how to download motions, I explain uh, step by step how to download motions or acceleration time history uh, from peer websites and different video on my channel. So please check that, that out and then you can know how to uh, install motions from peer websites. So uh, to scale the motion, I will go to motions here. Then I will go down to add new motions. And then from data source, I'm gonna choose the file, which is this one from peer, peer website. I'm gonna open it. So as you can see here, the data start at line five. So I'm gonna check this, this is correct, five, line five. And the data ends at line one two four one which is correct the time step we can check it it's it's here dt is the, t uh, the time step or delta t it's point zero one which is point zero one this is correct too so as you can see here there is no uh, time there is just acceleration value here which is fine we can the software can generate the acceleration the time uh, for this motion for you since we already have the delta, delta t so we need to make sure that this option is activated which is acceleration values only this motions is only acceleration if you have acceleration in in column and then time in separate column then you need to choose this option the acceleration units is g as you can see here the units of the acceleration is g so make sure you have the correct uh, units so you can uh, see that that on the line number three it says acceleration time series in units of g so that's correct so we leave uh, everything as it is as a default and then we we click on convert so you can see now we have the motion that we inserted we just inserted it's here we can view it and now uh, if you want to scale this motion you can click on motion metric and tools and then click on process and from process you have to choose single motion view then you, you will be able to scale that motions so uh, deep soil give you two two different ways to scale it there is, there is scale to G specific G value or target or uh, scale it by factor okay for example if I said like two so the BGA or the big ground acceleration will be doubled or the values and the acceleration time history will be doubled or multiplied by two so here the BGA is 0.32 so let's apply this uh, this factor two and see what's gonna happen so remember the BGA is 0.32 before scaling let's apply this see now the BGA is 0.64 and all the values of the BGA is scaled to uh, by factor 2. Let's try a different method by scaling to a specific target of G. So the G here we have it as uh, 0.64. Let's say that I need to scale the motions or the big or the acceleration time history to uh, 1.5 G. Okay. See what's going to happen. So you see the target is 1.5 and the BGA now or the big ground acceleration is 1.5 you see so this there is two different ways for, to scale any motions in deep soil it's very easy and straightforward you just need to uh, choose which method you want to scale the motion to and then just apply after you scale it then you can save the motion and use it later for your uh, site response analysis in the deep soil so let's save it I'm gonna save it here. I'm gonna scale uh, scaled motion one. So the motion was saved successfully. So now uh, you can go back and start new profile, and then you can insert that motion uh, that you scaled in, into your your uh, model to do. To perform site response analysis thank you so much so much for your uh, for, for watching and please subscribe uh, to my channel